Hello, Aquarius, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, what is going on? Ooh, protected, number 24, and gratitude is under the deck, number 23. All right, so maybe some changes, some things going on in the coming week that maybe make you feel like you're unsafe, but you are protected. Spirit's wanting you to know that and to be thankful for any changes, what's going on in your life, who you have in your life. Okay, what's going on for Aquarius? Intuition. Oh, I love it. I, look, it's under this deck. Protected. Double confirmation that you are protected. Listen to your intuition, Aquarius. You know the truth. That's what Spirit's telling me to tell you. So there's a situation where you feel vulnerable for some reason. But just be thankful. Like, keep saying affirmations of, like, I'm thankful for, you know, my friends or my job or my pets or thankful for what I have. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you, Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising in the tarot. Hmm, Hierophant. The Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, okay, and Page of Swords. Okay, this might have nothing. Have this might not have anything to do with the Oracle, but we'll see. Um, Nine of Coins under the deck. It does feel like someone has their eye on you, Aquarius. This person might find you very attractive. Again, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if this is a person like you need to be protected from. I don't think that. I think there's something else going on for you, but. For someone, I feel like you may get a secret gift or something like that. Like this person may like be in your office or something like you may open it in front of them or something. They want to see your reaction. Uh, others of you, this could be going out with this person, the six of coins. This person definitely keeps an eye on you. Uh, excuse me, an eye on you. Just, okay, so maybe it's around your job or something. There is a king of wands under the deck. So justice, the eight of coins, and the nine of swords. So someone viewing, you may be worried about your job right now or how you're making money, something like that. The Knight of Wands on the Knight of Wands. So again, might be a fire sign involved in this reading. I keep seeing this King of Wands here too. Could be younger, doesn't have to be younger, younger in spirit. The Seven of Coins. This person is going to be important in this reading because I feel like there's someone, wow. You're going to get some sort of very large offer is what I'm picking up here. And that six of coin could be right here. It's like this person wants to give you something, Aquarius, and they want to see how you react. Like they're just, they want, they want to surprise you. This could be a boss. This could be a friend. This could be an ex or something like that. I guess, I feel like someone's going to give you a gift of money. That's rather large. I don't think it's a loan at this point in the reading. I mean, it could be for a few of you or something like that or grant or something along that line, but it does moving for the hermit, the nine of cups. So maybe you may need to get work done on your car. That may be what you're worried about or get a new car. See, there's something here and maybe it's a Virgo involved, but someone, something here is going to make you really happy. It's going to be a blessing. It's like what you needed. It's a wish fulfilled. I feel like you're a little hesitant to take this offer or opportunity is what I'm picking up. I feel like your intuition is telling you to take it. It's meant for you, but maybe your head is saying, no, this is not, this is not the right step to take or something like that. I mean, obviously, if you feel completely unsafe, it's, don't do it. But um, it's something else where I feel like there's no strings attached is what I need. I feel like needing to say to you. But let's see. Two of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Maybe one more for that. Three of Cups. Yeah, celebration. Being happy. Look at this Queen of Wands, which I believe is you, with that King of Wands that's showing up. So there are two Queens, two Kings. However, it matches your energy. There's an offer here of the Two of Cups and then there's celebration with the Three of Cups, happiness. Somebody might want to make something up to you. Someone may feel guilty or feel bad about something in the past and want to give something to you. That's what I'm picking up here. But like the strength card is like you really want to take this. You want this offer from this person, but you feel like, oh, I shouldn't take it. That's why you're thinking here. You need a little time to yourself. I feel like there's someone who may have hurt your feelings in the past, done something in the past, I'm not saying it's an ex. I'm not saying they cheated. I'm not saying anything like that. It could be almost any circumstance where somebody may have made you feel left out. Somebody may have um, done something and it came off like the wrong way. It was hurtful to you. I don't, they could have had ill intent at the before because maybe they were like younger. Maybe they were night. Maybe they were more naive. But I get like this person wants to make something up to you because it's working on their karma. 
and it's I mean they want to do it for you but again it's and they may not even know the word karma what that means but they just know like they want to make something up to you because they feel bad for how they did something to you and it could have been a long time ago this would be someone who may have been in your life for a long time now so it could be a friend it could be a family member it could be something to do with seven years ago in the month of July 2007 possibly because the seven here in the world would tell me that might be a timing for some of you so it's like it's a kind of like making up for something they have done so what is this hangman Listen to your intuition, the five of wands and the ten of cups. See, again, there may have been something in the past. Look at the seven of swords. See, I think you're looking at the past here and you're remembering something. Whether there's an argument, whether this was a family situation with the ten of cups, this may have been an ex. My first husband actually did some really nice things for me many years after we were divorced to make up for some of the things he did while we were married that were kind of shitty. Um, and um, again, I think, yeah, he, did, he gave me money one time to help out. Uh, this is years ago. So again, don't discount who this could be and how they could be helping. And, you know, because like back when we were married, the Ten of Cups, um, and again, this reading has nothing to do with me. Don't worry. I'm not reading my own energy. I never do. I don't talk to my ex or anything like that. But this was years ago. So it could be that this person is seeing something differently. They're learning the lesson. They're understanding something a little bit better here. They understand it now. And they want to make up, make up for the past. I think this energy here is the past, the five of wands, five of swords. That's bad, bad behavior. Um, but page of swords. I think you're afraid, the, the hair fonts under here, that this person has um, ulterior motives. Because page of swords could actually be you talking to this person. They could be a fire sign or a water sign, or maybe you think this person wants to sleep with you. Maybe they, you think, well, this person's going to give me this, and now they want to keep, you know, tabs on me. They want to stay attached to me, like strings. Like, because I'm noticing the bird has like strings on him to the nest. So you feel like this is an offer with strings attached. So I totally get that. I think that's why it's saying you're protected. Be thankful. Someone could hand you something, say thank you. They could be a Capricorn. I mean, I'm not saying that they're a totally reformed person because they are coming up up until this point as a Knight of Wands, but still, I feel like it's this is okay. This is okay to accept this um, gift. Let me do the Devil, Knight of Coins. Looking at the past, these messages, Knight of Coin giving you messages to a sword. Okay, I am getting that. Yes, they might want to kind of give you this gift, and maybe they can. I don't want to say stroke their own ego. I am seeing a little bit here of that kind of energy I'm picking up on. So let's just say this. This person may not have, I think they have pure intentions. They may not be perfect, but they're okay. Spirit's saying it's okay. Yes, maybe they want to give you this gift so they can kind of like check up on you once in a while. Um, tell other people that they did this for you. But I kind of, I just get from the cards that it's okay. Take the gift and run is what they're saying. Not run for this person. There's nothing wrong. You don't have to run for your life. But they're saying like, don't read into it too much. Take the gift. Say thank you. Be appreciative. It's meant to help you. It's part of their karma to do this. If they boast about it afterwards to other people, if it's kind of like they think now they can keep tabs on you, whatever, it's still going to help you out. So whether this is money, because it kind of like they're giving you money. I don't know if they're giving you some sort of security or home or something. It could be money. It could be a job. It could be uh, anything like that. You might find this person annoying. The King of Cups, the devil energy right next to him could be someone who can be manipulative at times. I get the word charming. So I don't know. Maybe this person has a charm they can turn on and off. Whatever it is. <laughs> it's kind of a, an interesting reading. But but um, take it as it resonates. What is going on for Aquarius spirit with this reading? Yeah, hand of cards. So it is interesting because the tarot is showing me that this person... It's kind of, I don't want to say shady. I don't want to say that word. But it says, take a chance, risk being strategic. See, now you could be just as strategic as them. Options, not showing hand and gambling. Now, again, I don't think you have to play games. This is not about playing games or anything like that. But it is about, see, it's just a bigger picture because this has past life karma to it, I think, attached to it. This has been something that they had to do anyways. They were supposed to make up for this. So what else, please, Spirit? Okay. Photograph, looking at your photos. You guys are our soulmates. So there is a soulmate family a connection here. So meaning you're in the same soulmate family. Because I'm picking up right now that you guys have 
had other lives together. Um, and so, one more please. And moving on. See, there's, yeah, there. this is a situation and they're telling me that you can, you know, you don't have to linger, you don't have to hang around, say thank you, be, be thankful, and Spirit is bringing you in this blessing just in a different, unique way. Okay, so I kind of feel like it's going to be an actual gift or like of a money, of maybe a car. I don't really get it as a job. It looks like it's obviously attached to a very specific person in your life. Flow. Meandering pathway, go with the flow, number 24. So both of these cards are 24s. So sixes, balance. So just stay in the flow, stay balanced. You're protected. You're going the right way. When you hear from this person, I feel like you may not want to talk to them. That's kind of what I'm picking up right now. You may not want to see them or meet with them. You're kind of like, Ugh. but just go with the flow. See where things are going. I don't get this person. Of course, you know, if you feel they're dangerous, then believe that. But I don't get they are. This reading is bringing up somebody who wants to help you out. Let me go to this deck for this person because there may be some past history between the two of you that these cards might explain why they were that way, what they did. What's going on for Aquarius? This person looks at your pictures for hours on end and they still think you're beautiful. They hurt you and doing that, it hurt them even more. And this could be obviously not just emotionally, but I get financially, karmically, uh, what they did to you. See, this is a karmic reading. This is about someone having to repay karma. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm getting with that. Okay, this is not the way they wanted things to end. They wish they could go back in time. I bet some of you might have been married to this person or you know some sort of relationship with this person. Might even had children with this person. Uh, you may have kids that are grown now with the Knight of Want coin being there. One more, please. They kept their own company around who interfered with your guys' beautiful connection. Yeah. All right, guys. So I hope this is helpful. And you guys have a great week. And I'll talk to you soon.